Hello, it's Sarah. And I'm doing a little old-fashioned die cutting today. And I say that because, you know, with all the Cricut fancy machines, the computerized machines, this is the old-school Sizzix. I think this is a big shot. I, I put my dies on, and I made a sandwich, and I'm just going to run this through my machine and hope for the best because it hasn't been fully... Um, successful every time. Make sure I didn't unline it up. Kind of has to, there we go. Thank you. Thank you machine for cooperating. I put a, a piece of um, grunge paper on top just to make sure it's going to cut. And I'm actually cutting, um, oh, there's a die. I'm cutting through a very thin piece of uh, file folder but this this worked yes last time so yeah it worked so this die is a new die and I haven't bought dies in a long time I have lots of them um, but see this is a, it's just a piece of file folder I just wanted something stiff I tried using the um, grunge paper and I couldn't get it to cut these are thinlets so let me show you what this is first of all I bought this. This die is a Sizzix die called, let's see, it just, it says Thinlets Gearhead. That's the name of it, I think, Gearhead. And there's 22 dies in here. And I got it at um, Hobby Lobby. And I think I mean, I don't know if it was on sale. I think I got it for like seven bucks. My receipt is somewhere, but here's all the dies. It, you get this nice corner piece, which I've already done. I'm going to show you. There's lots of good size, different sh sizes in here. That's what I liked about it because I keep buying. I'm going to show you what uh, I ended up getting this, which I hadn't seen before. This is the Tim Holtz Gadget Gears. But they're super big. There's five big dies in, I mean, dies, gears in here. But I put back the small ones because I saw this and I thought, yeah, I'm going to try this. Instead of keep buying the, uh, the metal ones, which I love. And I still have some. I have some. I got this, which was um, in the bead department, but they were 50% off. So this was uh, $2.50. And these are little probably spacer beads but they're little gears and I've never had anything this little oh there's two sizes there's this size and then a small size I didn't realize that all right there's only two sizes that's good but they're nice and high polished silver and I'm doing this because I'm working on my my boy art doll I created my girl and I know I've been slacking because I've been painting a lot I've been painting but I wanted to get back to um, so I got these two I got this metallic ribbon which I thought was super cool these were 50% off too these are uh, I guess I want to touch it because I I'm not sure if it's like yeah it looks pretty thick so I want to see. No, it's it's pretty it's thinnish, but it's like yeah, it's like a, a metallic lace ribbon. But I thought that could be good for a steampunk. I don't know if a man see the thing is with men, they still wear jabots in that time period and lace. It it's kind of like anything goes. So I thought I could make maybe his it still looks really super feminine maybe if I do it this way but I still loved it so I got gold silver and this one is a leather sorry I like think out loud and I don't finish my train of thought that's how my brain works but this is a leather uh, trim that I really liked because it has these studs on it these metal studs and this was all 50% off so cool cool stuff I don't know, I figure I'll do something with this. Maybe make an X across his body. 
we'll see I'm not sure um, so because this is what I've got so far where is it I can't find anything on my desk here it is right here underneath my grunge paper I love his face see his face and then this is the design so far I'm just trying to keep it simple because we're gonna paint this but I love his face his face is turning out cool and then I'm gonna embellish with gears and things like I don't see here he is he's very tall um, which we can shorten these dowels and make him a little shorter if we want to but I think he looks nice I also got this ribbon at Hobby Lobby and this wasn't on sale but I just really liked it because it has bling down the middle and I just thought that would look cool as a shoulder piece on the girl I don't know I don't know what else I mean really on the boy I don't think it's gonna work but I just had to have it, it was super pretty uh, what else did I get I got some um, bead caps because I want to do when I do the arms I just thought I might add them in I'm not sure um, and for my man I just tried to get these a little more masculine ones we'll see um, but mainly I wanted to share what I'm doing with these gears because on my um, my girl I covered her wings with with gears and I used a good amount of my gears so I'm not sure that I have a ton left let me move some things out of the way but with this die I thought I should have plenty see this is the um, the corner piece that you could use on a um, an art journal page or something so let me just put those aside and I'll uh, do them later I think I'll do this one but this is what I've done with the gears so far I did these yesterday and I used lots of different embossing powders I used the ultra thick which I think your ultra thick it may have a melting pot that you use I'm not very familiar with that part of it I just used my embossing gun and melted it and I love the way it looked I used I have gold and platinum so I used those two I used my silver recollections and my gold recollections which they're just called gold and silver but then I had this stampendous gold it's called pirate gold I used that and I also used this this is purple that I got eggplant I got it on clearance so I don't know where my eggplant ones are I don't see them <laughs> oh Sarah you're so prepared but my desk gets a bit cluttered this is crazy because I haven't dyed die cutted in so long but um I did this one in the um, stampendous pirate gold and then I just rubbed a little bit of my different colors of uh, rub and buff no not rub and buff I used um, Inca gold I used this copper and this is called turquoise and I rubbed them on some parts of it and I love how that turned out I'm gonna put it on the black so you can see zoom in oh you can see it great from there so it just gives it a hint of extra color because I didn't have a brass uh, embossing powder I figured now this is what the platinum the platinum UT turned out much different it, it's a lot thicker but I love the way it looks I mean these really look pretty good but you can see it when I put it up against the other it has a different texture to it um, I think this is the platinum too and I just rubbed color see when I on the silver this is the plain silver and then this I rubbed a little brass on there and the turquoise this is the platinum you can see it's like thicker it's ultra thick um, I rubbed a little turquoise on that and I did it to some of the gold oh this is actually the extra the ultra thick gold you can tell the difference it's just definitely thicker so it's cool but I think it's gonna turn out like nice when you do it put it on a piece you could even put um, brads in the middle of here with spinners or different um, arrows and pointers 
But when you put them together, well, not that big piece, it does give a variation when you use the different kinds of, uh, see like that's a platinum and that's a platinum. So I would put that, and this is actually a platinum, put them further away from each other. I just think it looks, I like the variation in color. I didn't want everything to be the same. So that's why I, I wanted to change it up and at least see what it looks like. Even for the same project, I would, I would do that. I would do all the different colors. I just think it looks better that way. And then add some spinners, some brads, some like, um, I have some cool brads that look like screw heads. So to do that, all I did was, let's try it. I haven't done this on camera in a long time, but I'm going to do this. So I'm using my Versamark. This is a, a clear uh, sticky ink that you just, um, I'm going to use like a paper towel to, but I'm going to do this side of it. And I just took a paper towel and I'm inking the surface of this die by pressing it down onto the ink pad. And I think I'm going to do the ultra, no, I think I want to keep it fine. I'll do silver because the other one I did in gold. And then I'll just use an um, ink of gold on it. But I'll make sure I cover this pretty well with the sticky ink. And then I'm going to put, I'll put it on here. And get the silver. And you just cover it up with this powder. And this is, I think, a fine. I like working with the fine embossing powders. They're, it comes, the detail embossing powders are so nice. So that should be covered. I have my tweezers. And I think I put two coats on a couple of them. But I'm going to set that down. And you pour this back. Let me go back up because I know I'm zoomed in. Pour this back into the jar. Cover it up. And now I've put underneath here a glass, uh, I guess it's a cutting board because I've warped, with my heat gun, I always warp my um, self-healing mats, so I've, I just wanted to double protect it. And then I have my, uh, my wipeable mat here, but I'm going to get this warmed up. I just hold it down, and you'll start to see it change. It's awesome. Another hit if I see any looking okay. I think that's pretty good. Gorgeous. I love it. So that looks pretty just by itself. I'm gonna scoop all those and just show it on here. See how that pops on the black? Then we're going to take some of these, uh, just two, I think. Where the heck? Oh, boy. I could use my gold, too, but I think I'm just going to go with the brass. And these aren't the most, but, but I have plenty. And I'm just going to lightly brush it across. I could add a little squirt of water. I think I will and use a little bit of the turquoise. I thought I had a, it's called patina in the rub and buff, and it's like, it's when metal turns that little bit of green, but I just figured I'd use my turquoise instead. 
got to push a little bit hard to get it. I know I just I have a lot on here now so I'm just gonna I don't want to cover all the silver so you just want to put it hit and miss and let's see what this looks like <clears throat> See, I like it with a little bit of extra pizzazz on there, a little bit of extra color. So that's what I did to do some, where's my other one? You guys, I'm sorry, my desk, here it is. So this is the gold version. I think I like it on the gold better. Because the gold just shows up and then the bronze still shows up. I love it. Maybe just a little bit more of that. Maybe a little darker does it better. There we go. I like it. So I'm going to continue working on these and creating my, my boy this is what I'm going to do this week. I'm going to get him finished and then hopefully I'll get all the directions together. So I'm going to go full steam ahead on my art dolls and not get distracted by painting. Uh, October's almost over. We did a couple painting projects, but I really want to get him done. So that's it. Thanks for watching.